while you waited up to see what happened with SpaceX's new landing. You may have missed the tiniest recording drone, the latest Atlas robot, and the spacecraft propelled by lasers. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where astronaut Scott Kelly is about to leave the International Space Station. So first, he punked his friends in the best way. <laughs> A professor from the University of California, Santa Barbara, is working on perfecting technology that could get a spacecraft to Mars in just 72 hours. So Matt Damon could have just chilled on the poop-grown potatoes, basically. The system would use a laser and a sail to accelerate a spacecraft to 30% the speed of light, allowing us to send a probe to Mars in a couple of days or to another star in a matter of years. The human-carrying version would take a full month because God only knows what liquefying horrors would occur if humans were propelled that quickly. Just a big Rorschach test. Boston Dynamics has released video of its newly upgraded Atlas robot. But this is not the clumsy hot mess we saw fall repeatedly at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. We said it, so we have to watch it. The new Atlas is a head shorter than the last iteration and weighs just 180 pounds, down from 330. It's slimmer. It's also far more nimble than its predecessor thanks to added balance sensors in its body and legs. Not only can it now easily handle doors, snow, and jerk engineers armed with hockey sticks, the next generation Atlas can even get back up after being knocked over. A tiny little drone up on Indiegogo is about ready to ship, and we wanted to make sure you all saw it. It has its own 720p HD video system and is the smallest drone with a gimbal for controlling that camera. It's designed so that parts can be swapped out in a hurry. It costs $175, and guys, even with a gimbal, it's so light you don't have to register it with the FAA. Just saying. And finally, this projected dinner course is worth watching. It's by YouTuber Skull Mapping, and it's a darling animation that shows a mini chef struggling to make a dessert course. Don't worry, the diner still got to enjoy real dessert right after the chef died. This episode was brought to you by Go90.